will begin to trust police officers when they stop attacking us. It's tragic for the family of the police officer. It's tragic for the, the victim. Right now at 5, a jury divided tonight a mistrial in the case of a white officer accused of shooting a black man in Fort Worth. Good evening. I'm John McKay. And I'm Cynthia Isaguirre. Supporters of Officer Courtney Johnson have maintained the shooting was an accident. But critics say the verdict points to a larger problem between police and communities they serve. News 8's Lauren Zakata live tonight outside the courthouse in Fort Worth with more. Lauren? John, the family of Craig Adams, the man who was shot in this case, say they are not doing well with news of the mistrial today. Officer Courtney Johnson shot Adams two years ago while he was searching for a prowler with a knife. It turned out that Adams was in his own yard holding a barbecue fork. All right, then I am going to declare a mistrial in this case. It took a jury less than seven hours to realize they would not be able to unanimously decide whether fourth police officer Courtney Johnson was guilty or innocent. In the June 2015 incident where he shot a man named Craig Adams who had already gotten down on one knee. This was the scene as Johnson left court. Is there anything at all you'd like to say about the mistrial? Let it go. Johnson's attorneys, Jim Lane and Tim Choi, say evidence showed their client likely pulled the trigger as a reflex to what his left hand was doing with the shotgun at the time. Well, I mean, he didn't intentionally shoot this man, so he, you know, he feels terrible about the whole situation. Activists representing the African-American community and supporting Craig Adams also feel terrible about the situation, but for other reasons. I'm really hurt right now because I have to accept the fact that we as African Americans, our tax dollars are actually paying the police officers to murder and brutalize us. We don't get the justice that we deserve here. Jacqueline Craig, who was seen being physically handled by a fourth police officer in a viral video last year, spoke with others after the mistrial. We're going to continue to beg Sharon Wilson's office to retry this case because this case have enough merit that we can walk away with a guilty verdict. District Attorney Sharon Wilson released a statement Wednesday saying they are considering whether a retrial is justified. He wants a resolution in this case, but at the same time, it's good to know that uh, the jury who are citizens of Tarrant County believe that either almost half or more than half believe that he should have been acquitted. Now, I did ask the DA's office today when they will make the decision whether they're going to retry this case or not. They say to expect that decision in the coming days. As for Courtney Johnson, he does remain charged with aggravated assault by public servants, and he is on restricted duty with the Fort Worth police. We're live in Fort Worth. Lauren Zakalik, Channel 8 News.